Hey, this is Sam here from samnuku.com and I want to thank you so much for stopping by and watching today's video. In this video, what I want to discuss with you was how to start an email list. Now, I'm actually going to be using GetResponse as you can see in the top left hand corner here. And if you're interested, I highly suggest you check out my full review as to why this is the best entry level for small business email marketing platforms available on the planet okay they're a lot better than MailChimp they're a lot better than Aweber and I cover it all in this full um, review that you can check out just by clicking on this link here <coughs> and look what we want to learn today is how to create an email list so that we can start collecting email campaigns as you can see here I've got three lists here in this in this particular account and they're just starting out themselves so what I'd like to what you need to do is you need to come up here and you need to click see your current campaign right this is where your different email lists. so for example this one here dreamstalkers Inc is one campaign KWYT is another campaign email underscore marketing underscore bootcamp is another campaign okay so you click on this box here and you'll see right here create campaign so you right click on that and it'll automatically open it for you to be able to open a new campaign let's try a test shall we and you click on create campaign and it says here it must be between 3 and 64 characters only lowercase numbers and okay so alright so here's something to bring up here such campaign name already exists in get response database so in terms of like what people do is they set up uh, autoresponders and, and they share those autoresponders with people that buy their products uh, or anything else like that for that matter and so what they do is like every every email uh, platform there is only one name that can be used ever right so yeah, as you just saw I tried to put in the net the word test and it was taken this is what came up and the reason being is because there's already a campaign somewhere else in get response that someone's named test so let's try and go something a bit more unique test Sam Nuku and create campaign well done you create your campaign was created successfully so then what you can do from here because you've literally just created an email list right so you can either add contacts if you've already got a list of people that you want to create uh, add to it sorry you can create a newsletter you know or set up start setting up like something that you want to email out they call it a newsletter and or you can create an autoresponder autoresponder is basically where something is going to be sent automatically um, as soon as someone enters onto that list so say for example if you've entered onto my list on, on day one you would have received um, the uh, boot camp step number one day two boot camp step number two and it's automatically sent out I don't come in and send that it's automatically sent out from the platform itself which is brilliant and then you can go ahead and click any of your and edit any of your campaign settings so you can see exactly what it is that you need to do um, and that's basically it that it really is just that simple so look I'd highly suggest you check out get response it is my most recommended entry level now once you get to a point where you're over a thousand users then you can start looking at um, more complex things like uh, convert kit um, and so on you know things like that that can really help you take your your email marketing to the next level but for a beginners level and by beginner I mean a thousand people or less on on whatever particular list that you're working with I highly 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 suggest you get on to get response okay thank you very much for stopping by and watching this video and I'll see you in the next tutorial very soon